This is a gallery focus in the Plateau Montréal at 68 Duluth East. Uh, and uh, we have an exhibition of Eva Hollis today. This is her uh, announcement here, and we're just outside of the doors of Gallery Focus. I'll introduce Eva Hollis to you now. I'm Abraham Weisfeld, the Secretary Treasurer of Gallery Focus, and we have been uh, hosting exhibits here for artists since uh, 1986, actually, now. And that makes uh, 20, 26 years. This is Eva Hallis, who is of uh, Romanian origin, an immigrant to Canada, and who is a successful artist in here, as far as we are concerned. And uh, she has done an exhibition of watercolors this time. Uh, thank you, Amy, for presentation. So uh, I'd, I'd like to introduce you now uh, my artwork. Um, so I'm a, I'm a painter, journalist, writer, and I enjoy uh, doing my art. I'm also a, I was a student at Concordia University in Montreal in graphic design. And my uh, series of uh, um, watercolors I present today, uh, it, it's all made in uh, France, Lille, in uh, May 2013, uh, where I visited my uh, mother in, uh, in Lille, France. So please come in. I'd like to start with the uh, Jardin de la, de, de la Casa de Raclequin Cordon, uh, Cordu. Um, this is in Spain. Uh, I was uh, painting this piece uh, from a family album. Uh, and uh, as you see, it's uh, the palace of uh, uh, Christian uh, kings in Spain, uh, painted uh, from a book. Um, um, I enjoy working on the garden of, uh, of this um, palace and uh, I try to e uh, explain uh, everything uh, that was um, the beauty of the garden itself. Um, next piece uh, is Grand Mosque de Cordov, so uh, it's a big, uh, the big uh, mosque of uh, Cordov. Cordu, Cordov in uh, Spain. Cordoba, you mean? Yeah, Cordoba in Spain. Again, a work from a, 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 a book uh, my mother has uh, in uh, France, in Europe. And I enjoy a lot playing with this, uh, seeing uh, the beautiful um, uh, display of, uh, of the mosque uh, with this particular design. And uh, I find it very uh, mysterious and um, magical, magical place. The next one um, is um, made after visiting the, the Museum of Fine Arts in Lille, uh, where I saw paintings of uh, Pablo Picasso, Braque, and uh, Fernand Leger. And I tried to make a, a, one of one composition inspired by, by their words, playing with the uh, light. And uh, this painting is about uh, cognac, cognac um, uh, like the the alcohol beverage uh, that is in in the bottle that you see there. It's a special bottle for guiding the uh, fine liquor. Um, next painting is a uh, new line, like a uh, uh, meal, uh, tra meal train, uh, I don't know in English how you say meal. Meal. A meal. Windmill. Um, wind windmill, wind mill, exactly. Um, that uh, is again uh, worked out of a book, but uh, you, you're going to see next some paintings that I made uh, directly from nature in my uh, mother's garden. Um, and th this is called uh, Azale, and it's a flower uh, in my mother's garden. Um, and here uh, I, I try to approach a little bit uh, the Cubist look of the painting, thinking a little bit of uh, Pablo Picasso, uh, and um, it's a bit Cubist kind of uh, treatment of, of the painting, even if there are just flowers. Next one is... Uh, 
La naissance de Venus uh, est une de après Botticelli, uh, so it's uh, the birth of Venus after um, the painter Botticelli. Uh, and um, I enjoy a lot uh, working on this painting and uh, trying to find the right colors for the sea that uh, you, uh, you, for, for the scene, the painting. And for this painting, I have also uh, written a poem in Romanian that would be uh, featuring in my uh, third uh, poetry book that I will publish uh, next year, in 2014. And um, the next uh, painting is a, a study after a, a storm um, in Italy this time. Um, and this also is worked after a, a book uh, from my mother's house. Um, and I, I try to, to, to give the feeling of a, of a storm be, before the storm uh, picture. Um, next one is a, a fountain in uh, Maria Luisa uh, Park in uh, Seville, uh, uh, Spain. And uh, again, for this painting, I, I have written a poem. Um, it's a fountain uh, where you can see a statue, and next to the statue, a little uh, pigeon, a bird. And it's also a kind of a magical place I, I wish to, to see uh, in person one day. Next one, uh, it's a rhododendron from my mother's garden. Um, and here, um, my approach is a little bit like uh, Van Gogh paintings um, because being in Europe in May, uh, it made me think a lot about uh, uh, the Euro European artists I studied at, as a student. And um, as you can see, um, the, the little decorations are a little bit like uh, Van Gogh uh, paintings. Uh, next one. Uh, it's uh, sorry, it's um, uh, homage uh, a Fernand Leger, uh, like a, a homage to Fernand Leger. After I saw uh, his paintings in the Museum of uh, Fine Arts in Lille, I uh, created uh, this uh, piece of art that is quite uh, original. And uh, I got inspired by, by uh, his uh, style. Um, Dionysos is uh, the painting, uh, it's uh, actually a detail, uh, a study of a detail of a painting of uh, Caravaggio, Caravaggio, the Italian painter, and uh, uh, it's uh, a basket of fruits, with fruits, uh, and he is holding a glass of wine, red wine in his hand. Again, about this uh, painting I made, uh, a poem, as well as the one that I presented to you before, Amage of Um Next one is uh, uh, the history of uh, swans uh, that I worked after a little jewelry box uh, uh, at my mother's place. Um, it's a, a story Somebody from... Uh, out there. Oh yeah, it, there my... Uh, you don't think you're going to get them taken? No, no, we are in the video. Thanks. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Um, so, is the history of uh, swans uh, from a story of uh, um, Green Brothers that is very famous uh, in Europe. Um, next one is uh, the portrait of. Uh, uh, Le Portrait de la Dame à l'Hermine, uh, the portrait of uh, the lady with the Hermine, uh, of Leonardo da Vinci. It's again a watercolor study of his famous painting uh, with the same name. And um, I, I try to give a little bit more theatrical feeling of the personage, um, kind of making it uh, more contemporary. Uh, actually thinking about the theater like an actress. I, I painted uh, like an actress having a role uh, in this painting uh, that is the lady with uh, her mind. Next one, um, 
I had studied uh, uh, Vermeer, uh, the painter, famous painter Vermeer, and I have uh, two uh, studies, uh, detailed studies, after the woman with milk and uh, the uh, La Dantelier, uh, like the, the woman who does uh, um, Dantel, um, from his famous paintings. And uh, I, I try to catch the colors very much blue, blue feeling. Um, uh, and it's very much when I visited Belgium, it, uh, it is very much as the, uh, the feeling there, the atmosphere of Belgium, very much uh, uh, um, cold colors uh, combined with a lot of sun. And finally, um, I have uh, two paintings from uh, my mother's garden, uh, Rosier, Rosier um, that is not flowered yet, and uh, some um, garden flowers in the back, you can see the cherry tree, and um, it's again the atmosphere I captured in, in months of May. And um, so, That's a very interesting one as well. With uh, the woman working on a, on a on embroidery, is it? Embroidery, working in uh, on in embroidery, mm -hmm. and it's a detail of Vermeer painting uh, that is very famous painting uh, of his. Um, and ne next to it, it stays uh, the other detail of another Vermeer, uh, uh, another painting of Vermeer. Uh, the woman with the milk. So this, this is my, my watercolors I uh, made in for, for the period of one month in uh, France and I really enjoyed it. I wish to go travel and paint like this uh, all my life if it's possible. Thank you.